This chapter has been all about the central nervous system, but just as a final note, keep in mind the central nervous system, it cannot do uh, its job without the peripheral nervous system. So finally, just our last slide here, we want to mention the peripheral nervous system. Um, the peripheral nervous system consists of cranial and spinal nerves, and they branch off from the central nervous system. So we're just showing a schematic of that here. We've got, of course, the central nervous system, uh, central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord, but we've got a lot of other branches, right, that come off from um, from the central nervous system. In total, we have 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Let me write this down. 12 pairs of cranial nerves. And we have 31 pairs of spinal nerves. And all put together, these make up what's called the peripheral nervous system, or PNS for short. Most nerves, most of these nerves are mixed. They contain both sensory and motor fibers, so it's a mixture of, um, of types. But the fibers do separate near the attachment into the spinal cord. So we end up talking about the dorsal root, um, which is composed of sensory fibers, and the ventral root, which is composed of motor fibers. And we saw that back on the previous slide um, with, the, with the butterfly shape in the middle of the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system will be involved in reflex arcs. We will be exploring reflex arcs in a little bit more detail in a later chapter. So just to give the idea right now, with a reflex arc, this is something that allows very quick responses. Um, and that's, it's important. In some cases, it's important to have a really quick response that doesn't require conscious input from, uh, from the cerebrum, from the brain. So with a reflex arc, what happens is there's some sort of of um, sensory information. Maybe you accidentally touch something very hot and that sensory information gets carried up a sensory neuron through the dorsal root into the spinal cord and then right here there's what's called an interneuron and that interneuron makes a direct connection with a motor neuron. So right here there's an output signal through this ventral root. This would go and activate a muscle which would ultimately cause you to, if it's activated, it might cause you to pull your hand away real quick. So that's a reflex arc. In this case um, there's no need for for a lot of conscious thought going on and so again I just want to mention this in passing. We're going to be coming back to this in a later chapter.